we talked about earlier, if you run out of cash, your business is dead. Cash flow is really important and it's not the same as profit. See, in investors like to look at cash flow because there are no assumptions or biases influencing the numbers. In other words, you can measure exactly how much cash you have at any point in time. You either have the cash on hand or you don't. And for management, it's critical to know how much cash you currently have, but also how much you expect to have in the future so you can raise capital or make changes in your operations before you run out. Every line item and number on the cash flow statement can be calculated using the income statement and the balance sheet. So let's do a quick review of the cash flow statement and we'll finish up with a good example. In Apple's 10K, they call it the Consolidated Statements of Cash Flows. Again, we're dealing in millions of dollars and what we have here are the numbers for 2018, 2017, and 2016. So for starters, there are three parts to every cash flow statement. The first section is called operating activities. The second section are the investing activities. And then the third and last piece of the cash flow statement are the financing activities. So the operating activities section measures all the cash that's coming in and also that's going out of the business that's directly tied to the business operations. For example, cash comes in when customers pay their bills and cash goes out when the company pays its vendors and suppliers. The investing activity section measures the cash that the company is spending on its future. So for example, buying delivery trucks or opening a new manufacturing facility, we consume cash now, but these are the type of investments that will hopefully generate more cash in the future. Finally, the financing activities section tells you how much the business depends on outside capital from lenders or shareholders versus how much the business is being powered by its own profits. So remember back to our metaphor, back to that gas tank, you take the cap off and you fill it up. This section measures the type of gas that you actually put in the tank, whether you're raising more debt or paying the debt off and from selling stock or buying stock back. 